Hello, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine demographic variables and make them into one table like this table, which includes gender, age, semester, etc. So to do this, we can use spaces and we go to analyze and not to descriptive stats and frequencies as most researchers do, but rather we are going to go to uh, custom table, tables and then custom tables. Then I need to move these variables here so that I can put them into the rows. So I will choose whether I will move them to the rows or to the columns. So let's reset this. So current tab, then I need to move, for example, gender. Click control, move age, and then semester by dragging and dropping them into this box. Then I can select, for instance, for gender. I'm going to go and uh, to this icon and choose, for instance, a uh, column percent and move it here. Then click apply to selection. The same method can be reapplied here. and then close so once i do this so for age i may add since it's a uh, so for age it, it, since it is let's say a continuous variable we need a mean score and standard deviation let's say value so i'm going to go again to summary stats and i'm going to move for instance the range and the standard deviation I can even have the variance in the percentile if I want, the mean, median, and mode. Let's just do this as well. So let's remove this so that I can. Okay, so let's go back to this mean and put it first. So as I said, I can include also the mean, median, and mode. So, so I can include one by one. Apply to selection, close, and then I can just change here how the table looks like. So we'll keep it this way and click OK and wait for the output. So here is the output. So what I can, know, uh, can do now is that copy this output and paste it to Microsoft Office Word and format it this way. So this is in brief how we can combine demographic or social demographic variables into one personalized table without having to do a lot of manual work and we can do this uh, effectively using spaces if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me honestly i answer as uh, many inquiries as possible depending on my availability if you can contact me via whatsapp it's more convenient for me to respond on the spot uh, otherwise if you use email or you can comment here below the video it's also good because i keep checking every now and then so i always have my internet connection on and i can react as as soon as possible uh thank you so much i really do learn from your questions as well i uh, it's nice to keep working with researchers from different parts of the world, which is really great experience. And thank you so much again for all the, the support and everything. See you soon in another tutorial. Bye for now.